Good evening, everyone. Jackie here. So I just want to show you I did do um, some journaling in here. And I added this little Santa tag right here. It's a cute little Santa. And some journaling on the back of there. <clears throat> and I have to tell you, oh boy, yeah. I did add this here, which yesterday when I did the video, I was saying, oh, it was the seventh, it was the seventh. No, it was day eight, it was the eighth. So the seventh is, um, you know, not much went on anyway, so there is no day seven. So, but anyway, I changed that from a seven to an eight. So here we go. So on this page, um, it's, a, it's a blank page and I actually, decided I was going to do something different on this page. So I have this napkin that I thought was super, super pretty. And yes, I know you're sideways, but right now I my tripod is small. I don't have a big one, so I can't set it up behind me. I haven't figured out how to do that to come over the front. If anyone has any great ideas for me on how to do that, Please, please tell me because I would love to do that. But I think you, you, you can still see pretty well what's going on here. So I am going to do a bit of decoupage. So I'm going to decoupage on this napkin and get out my decoupage paintbrush and my decoupage. And so we're going to put that on here. I really, really love decoupage. I think you've probably, if you've watched a few of my videos, you've heard me say that because I love how it feels when you are done. <clears throat> and I just discovered from my friend Gail, whose videos I watch for all of my inspiration and everything, that you can, you sand it after to make it smoother and make it look like it's just really um, part of the page. And I used this um, nail sand or sander, which works really well. So let's get this on here. And I'm probably <clears throat> going to need to do a little bit more here. I'm getting low on Mod Podge. I'm gonna have to get some Get some more. All right, so I'm going to do a little over the top here. I get a little heavy handed with Mod Podge. I'm trying not to be because it takes it a long time to dry if you get too much on, but. So I try to take it easy, but I wanna make sure I get the whole thing Get all the little pieces down. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna go on to day nine, which would be yesterday. Sunday was the ninth. My friend Danny's birthday. And a friend of mine, he and his wife Bonnie for years and years. And their kids and yeah. All right, so that's gonna dry my cover back on here and get that put away. I'm just going to get out a baby wipe to keep my paintbrush from getting totally dried out while I'm finishing up. Okay, so I think that's going to be super pretty. And then I do have, this was at the bottom of the napkin down here. I might stick this somewhere on the side. I don't know, the little the little black part says um, comfort and joy, oh tidings of comfort and joy. So that was really, that's cute. <clears throat> and I kind of took this apart over here because I was playing around a little. But, but this page will be page nine. And it has already some cute little things, a little sleeve with some writing paper in here to journal on it says season's greetings and i don't have a lot to say about day nine but i did get to see my little 
my other granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, oldest grandchild, really, but got to see her and her mom, my daughter, and my son-in-law for a little bit yesterday. Now, this <clears throat> is one of the little doilies that I got on my at my ant the antique shop haul that I did, and I thought that was so pretty right there. So I don't know if I'm going to even, if I want to even keep this here. I'm Maybe, I think I'm going to do some lace or ribbon down the side here. Um, that would look, make that a little prettier, like some red maybe. Um, or maybe, I don't know, I think, yeah. I think down this side, if I'm going to keep that in there, I really do like that there. I like the way that shows up. So let's see. I'm going to just move this a little bit <clears throat> so we can do some ribbon. And actually the ribbon is going to have to go here on this side. So let's see. I think some pretty red. Let me see what I've got for some Christmas ribbon. So I do have this that would look pretty. I've used that throughout the journal a bit. Uh, let's see, I have this one. No, that's, no, I don't want to use that one against the, the pattern on there. Let's see, what else do I have? Hmm. <laughs> Snowflakes, polka dots, no. Hmm, none of that really is what I want. Um, I guess maybe I might just do this one. I have a wider ribbon, but I think I'm going to stick to this because I think this will work the best. And this is just fabric that I had, and I've, I've torn it and frayed it a bit. I'm going to cut that for the end. And then we're going to put that right along here, like this. Probably about there. And give that a rip, maybe, if I can. Okay. A garbage box under my table. some fabric tack and put that on there. It is going to make it a little thicker along the edge, but I think that's okay. All right, I'm going to put this fabric tack on here, I think. So it's a pretty uneventful day around here, you know. Kiddos were here, we played, we Legos and Duplos and read Christmas books and um, yeah, just had a jolly old good time. Did some stickers. They're kind of all learning how to use stickers and it's kind of it's so much fun to kind of watch them because some of them will you know take the stickers off and then stick them on just fine and then they take them off and try to put them back on the paper that they came on there and I have some kids who put the stickers all like on top of each other which is which is cute I keep saying oh put them put them out here like this so you can see them all but I don't know they all have to have their own thing and you know their own way they want to do things so let's see what this looks like when I fold it up